Yeah, and here we go with the wonderful, the one and only Amantla Steenberg, and you look so amazing, let me say <laughs> that. So, the Acolyt, I'm so excited to see it. What, what, what can we expect? Well, we can expect a lot of moral ambiguity, um, a lot of new characters. And female women power, okay? Absolutely that, and we yeah, have really beautiful, uh, powerful performances from really badass women. Put a chicken in and make a name gay! Sure, yeah. Well, uh, let's try that. Early Doom. It looks like the good woke people at Disney are trying real hard to sell us their upcoming crap show known as The Acolyte. A few days ago, they released another trailer for it in hopes that people will like it more than the last one, but by looking at its like-dislike ratio and reading the comments under it, it looks like it's just as hated as ever. My favorite comment is, OMG, I saw the Easter egg in the trailer. Did anyone miss it at 0 to 150? Spoiler. The message. And the guy is not wrong. This trailer proves once again that Disney will remain relentless when it comes to the insertion of DEI and identity politics into everything they make, and that no doubt, they will blame the fans once again when their slop of a show inevitably bombs, just like almost all others have the past few years. This is especially problematic if we consider that Disney's stock just dropped almost 10% in a day, after many shareholders backed out upon the opening of their newest and wokest ride in their parks, Tiana's Woke Bayou Adventure, which replaced the most popular one they had. It almost seems like they at Disney are not only blind to the will of the audience, but also to their own financial data. Anyway, hit the like and subscribe buttons and let's see just how well the new trailer of The Acolyte will roast. Last night, a Jedi was murdered. Last decade, Star Wars was murdered. It looks like they are proud of Ahsoka for some reason, even though it was laughably bad. But at least they had the self-awareness to not put the Reva show, I mean Obi-Wan Kenobi, The Book of Baby Fat, or any of the garbage star woke films on there. The Jedi justify their galactic dominance in the name of peace. But that peace is a lie. Just like it's a lie whenever they promise us they'll stop with the wokeness that they know everyone hates. Jedi are being hunted. Yes, by Kathleen Kennedy and her activist girlfriends. She was my student. I trained her. I'm not an expert on lightsabers, but I'm pretty sure they could cut through her bamboo armor pretty easily. Let me be the one to bring her in. I sense this is only a small part of a larger plan. Yes, it's called the destruction of the social fabric through cultural Marxism. Some sort of shift to tip the scales. It's time to fix the past. By fixing the past, they mean destroying what was good and replacing it with shit. No one is safe from the truth. And the truth is, this show is going to suck and flop hard. Destiny is not decided for you by an anonymous force. Not simply an anonymous force, but a female anonymous force. If you want to pull the thread, and change everything, and pull it. What are you? Going by every woke slop ever made, most likely a lame and gay chick in a helmet. All right, that's about it for today. If you like this video, don't forget to share it and put your thoughts down below. You should also check out my book of shocking secrets and groundbreaking revelations of the world, which you can find in the description. See you in the next one.